It's a very special day. We're bringing Delicia Argura Dentara, um, this haha kie kie, back to um, to these craters in Makokona for the first time in um, in generations. It's since, since the seventies, and today we outplanted thirty of them. Um, back into one of our craters. Um, this is the first step towards a much bigger focus on rare species recovery as well, because both are important. You know, we need to have um, a healthy native ecosystem, but every single one of our rare species is critically important to to our cultural identity and our health and well-being as a people. The specific site where we're reintroducing the seedlings that we planted today is really similar to where the, the wild plant was recently discovered here. It has a similar vegetation community, similar aspect, soil, the substrate age is similar to the area. And so we tried to uh, find a location that was as similar and as many of those attributes as possible to where the wild plant is growing and where we know it can be successful. Hawaii is such a special place and we have so many species here that are found nowhere else in the world. Uh, and to get to work with those species, whether it's directly like I got to today or indirectly, it's, it's what I'm passionate about is bringing these plants into popular view and getting them back where they belong. Kamehameha Schools, you know, in my opinion, it's been a very good steward of, of, of our aina over the past um, generation. Um, but we've tended to focus more at a landscape scale and to do things that are, um, you know, to, to, to do things to steward um, the ecosystem as a whole. We're a very small team um, at Kamehameha Schools, and so we rely on partnerships um, with uh, with a variety of folks, with with uh, with state and federal agencies, with the watershed partnerships, with community groups, and they're the ones that um, that that help us to realize this vision of of healthy aina.